And then I don't even see God showing up anywhere I, in the Noah story. Actually, Noah, he talks to Noah, but he doesn't talk to the world. He says, Noah, you talk to the world. Noah's one drunk old man. How, how is he supposed to talk to the whole world and tell them there's a flood coming? Wouldn't that be God's department? Get well, on a megaphone somewhere. Were, testing. We know, you know that there were people <laughs> that far outstretched. We, we know there know. were people. Yes, we know there were people. Yeah. So he didn't reach everybody. And he just drowned them. He didn't reach the children. And that's, you know, I mean, if you're going to drown the planet, at least save the innocent lives. Oh, he saved some animals, but he drowned every child, puppy, kitten that was left. And I don't see that as good. I cannot get behind somebody who thinks that's a good idea. So if he came down right now and, and he wants to have that relationship with me, God comes down, he talks to me, he says, hey, Michael, how you doing? I'm the guy that drowned all the kids. Whoa, wow. Why? Well, because their parents didn't listen. You drown kids because their parents didn't listen is not a good excuse. I cannot get behind that. He doesn't have any good reasons for his things that he does. And guess what? That's free will, right? You have that choice. You can believe what you want to believe and I can believe mm. what I want to believe. Yes. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. But when and we put logic behind it, it I, doesn't it doesn't add up. It doesn't this loving logic. God doesn't add up. Faith faith isn't logic. We know that. Yes, faith, faith is, is not logic. logic. Yeah. 